And yeah, so you like spend the whole first like on Monday afternoon, I'll start like firing the wood for a few hours and like keep the fire going while I'm doing all the mixing and shaping of the bread and then close those doors up. And in the morning, like 6.37 ish, wake up, scrape those coals out, start loading the bread in. How hot does that thing get? Oh, it can get like over a thousand degrees, but like I bake at like between 550 and 450. Are you thinking about like who, ca- who starts at the top? And- okay, sorry. Go ahead. Well, no, that I was mean, a weird thing to yeah. do. Actually, I realized, but yeah, <laughs> I was like, is this a- this has got to be that French, Canadian, Belgian, thing. <laughs> Dutch, I can't. German. Are you thinking you know, about? Well, honestly, I'm so many of those things. All everything you've listed, I've got some of and that. In the words so of Michael Scott, was your dad a GI? No, and I don't watch The Office that much, so... It's all right. We're not going to do any... <laughs> uh, damn it. I thought that joke was going to land. You're going to be I'm like, like oh. God, I'm going to be good. I'm, like, so bad on any sort of pop no, culture you've been reference. you grinding so hard. Like you mentioned, two jobs of four, and now you're fucking slaying the spread. I apologize. Continue <laughs> on. I railroad conversations all the time. Go ahead. Sorry. I don't know what I'm talking about. So, after you, with all the bread delivery, are you thinking about, like, other types of... Yes. What's next for Funky Flames? I had biscuits up for a while, um, and in San Francisco, I was doing a lot of biscuit pop-ups, so I still like that, but Denver seems to like have a really strong biscuit scene, so I don't know that I feel... Are we talking buttermilk biscuits? Yes. or like buttermilk biscuits. Where do you get your recipes from? Combination of life. Honestly, I had to like reinvent everything here because it's so dry, and the altitude. The altitude. So we use club <coughs> soda and our cornbread. Ah, is that but, a good trick? I mean, that's just what we use as folks from the Cajun country that have uh, come out here. Okay. But what we were talking about, we were making a joke about the temperature of the the oven when you yes. cook. And I'm sure more folks would like to know more about the cooking process. So I wouldn't want to deter them, even though I railroaded it. So I wanted <laughs> to bring you all back to it. I mean, the oven's dope. Like, it, it's such an efficient heat source to use wood for. How fire. long do you cook them in there for? Uh, 35 to 40 minutes, most of the loaves. I mean, it depends what, I'm, what you're cooking. Like, I'm cooking two-pound loaves, so that's it. But if I was cooking, like, a baguette, that's, like, 10, 15 minutes. So you do have all of this, like, the baguette as well as the full loaf, I half loaf? I did baguettes for a little bit. It's a short oven, so, like, demi-baguettes are better. Um, and I've, like, done a couple other breads. I feel strong about, like, the current mix. Um, and playing with adding some new things in, I I just I want to do like different things with it. So, doing like baguettes and shibata and like things that have been done aren't as exciting to me. So that's why I've been like playing with like beet loaves and turmeric loaves and spinach loaves and just like adding these bright colors into it because playing it makes with it. yeah it's like it's more fun to me. It's different. Like people are already doing other breads like super well and there's already like amazing bakers doing that like go support them doing that. Well, I thought, I'm I do thought, something weird. Yeah, so, I thought, yeah, have you channeled other bakers? Like have you spoken with other folks in the community like hey, how do y'all make y'all's focaccia pop or like have you asked Kelly how that sourdough gets those bubbles like no, but I should be more. I do have, like, some baker Instagram friend people, which is fun. Is there a baker now that community? people are, like, getting vaccinated and stuff, I feel like we'll actually meet in person. But I, that's something that I've been super stoked with in Denver is, like, everybody's so friendly. And, like, all the, like, bakers and cottage people are, like, I don't know. I didn't think Instagram was, like, it makes me actually like Instagram because I'm, like, there's actually is a community where people are, like, nice and chatty and, like, I feel I, like I have these little friends, even though I have, like, no friends here. Hey, well, first off, I think you're fucking awesome, and in fe- your personality is infectious, and it comes out through the podcast, so not only will our listeners enjoy it, but I enjoy it. So if you ever want to just dick around and catch a buzz, we <laughs> he works nights, but I, I will goof off with you any time. Perfect. Second off, any you friends? call them cottage people, and I just can't help. Did I? But, yeah, That's you know, how you like, get canceled. I was like... Time yeah. out. Is this just like thick people? You know that. You know what I'm talking about. Like the people that you see at the Mississippi County Fair. That's what I thought of when you Love said. Love carbs. Yeah, carbs. But cottage people. What I didn't mean to say tell? that. Is it like rainbow people? Like the people cottage that, like, bakers. The cottage bakery. Yeah. People. Like, is it like a Our bearded community. community? A lot of Birkenstock patchouli. I don't know. I do wear Birkenstocks. No, I'm I don't know if they tr- are. I'm trying to catch a vibe of what a cottage person. I is. I think we're all different. Everybody's like got their own funk and niche. Everyone has their own starter. Everyone's got their own starter. That's not named. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how many people. I'll do. make up a we, name next time. 
Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on though. I got a question you're though. You're saying you're experimenting, so you have to make sure you, you let on, folks know. Like, on, oh, I'm fucking with tamarack and you know math. Like, on the uh, I don't know. You don't even know what's in it. On the sourdough thing, what what is it? Why do some people like call it San Francisco sourdough, and what is the difference between sourdough and San Fran sourdough? I don't think there's a difference. I didn't ever know why it was called San Francisco sourdough until moving here. I think it's because the climate in San Francisco is perfect for baking sourdough. It's humid, and the weather is the same every day. Gotcha. Here, the weather is so variable. It's, like, 80 and sunny, and then snows the next day, and it's super dry. So, like, those are not good bread things. Bread wants, like, consistency. How long did it take you to find that consistency here? Um, Where you felt I mean, like I still didn't even want to do it. My my brother and his girlfriend moved in, and honestly, had they not like pushed me and been like, "You just have to go do this," then I I don't know. I might still be like playing with it and like working at a brewery, being like, "I'm not ready to do this yet." Well, the bread turned out great. I was like, I literally like I was like, I'm gonna put this like on Instagram, like post my birthday, and be like, "I'm making a website, and I'm gonna sell bread." And I had like no plans. And I was like, all right, in two weeks, I have to get my shit together to actually do this. And like I said, next door post and a Facebook marketplace and random people signed up. The next door post is what I think is really the smartest idea. A and little bit. Next door is a scary place. Yeah, it's, it's, it's awful. It's very strange. There's some comments that I can read for uh, like, I'll sit there for like an hour, one second. It's like, suspicious person in a white van. I and know, they're like, yeah. I live next door to you. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, Seriously, fuck off. And it's like, I live next to a lake and had those. It's like, is anybody else worried about the collective of cars parked outside of the lake? Be like, motherfucker, we live right next to the lake. Like, and it over, it's Sloan's. Like, it yeah. overlooks all of downtown. Yeah. There are going to be people parked there. Like, but at the same time, you have people that are engaged. It's an actively engaged audience yes. just by a geo tag. You yeah. know, it doesn't even matter. You don't have to have the same opinions, same beliefs. Some of y'all may profile certain cars, vans, shots. Hey, by the way, if you see Jacob's blue van out there, it was stolen from the <laughs> Highlands. Please Car report. stolen here, too? Shit. Yeah. Not those with clubs. Not. This yeah, this is, may have been more apathy led to this. I got a 2013 car now. I think they're harder to steal. Maybe. Yeah, watch out for your bike, though. Those get stolen. Uh, Left it in San Francisco. Uh, uh, okay. catal- catalytic converters <laughs> also. Apparently are, those are hot those ticket things items. Those are hot ticket items. I don't know what that is. One of is. our neighbors, like, it's, it's the some... muffler of the car. I don't know. It's something mm-hmm. that apparently you can take off pretty easily and then just sell, but it really fucks your car up. Hey, cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so one of our no neighbors kidding. just walked out there and was like, uh, oh, I think somebody di- stole my catalytic converter. And we were like, is that a thing? Converter. And we looked it up, and it's for sure a thing. I wouldn't know. If I'm driving problem. around, well, I know. You How do you know? You start your car. So. <laughs> okay, yeah. so I'll know. Yeah. Yeah. I was you like, am I going to figure this out? What so if it's already gone? It's the end of the muffler where that big old fat, like, you know, the gizzard is, that thing that's running underneath the, the uh, back bumper. This isn't a car. car? Yeah, it's We're not, not a car, my... guys. If you could guess, I just mentioned I Should we get into some goofy questions? Yeah, let's do that because this has gone wayward 78 times. Let's get into You're the going meat. wayward. I'm always wayward, but that's the best part about this podcast. So part yes. three is all about getting to know you, the person behind the company. Because we really okay. haven't done that. Okay. Yeah, we don't know nearly enough about you. So, Chris, we go. let's start with what are you binging right, right now? Binge watch. Um... I actually don't have a TV, so anything I watch is on my laptop. What's the last book you read? I haven't been binging a lot. Um, I'm reading right now this book on, like, gut health and uh, linking, like, your gut to your brain and different foods and, like, how that affects your emotions and what foods give you dopamine and don't. And It's interesting, although she's, like, a gluten hater, so I feel... You know, behind take the eight ball now. Feel a little she's like bitter. Little I'm like, I'm like, you know, one she's chapter like, I'm like, yes, you got you this. Bad. This is cool. Like, and then like the next chapter, I'm like, mm. so you don't do gluten free bread? No. That should be. I'd love to talk about gluten actually. Let's go and let's talk about gluten. I had dedicated ten minutes later in the episode to it, but let's get into oh, it really? now. What is, what's your stance on gluten? That it's not the demon. Gluten is a process. It's not even an ingredient. Um, I feel like there's so much misinformation about what gluten is. And gluten is simply when water and flour meet, they create two proteins. 
and that's what bonds and like allows bread and cookies and all these things to be digestible. So I think what people get upset about and like what's hard to digest and like stomach issues is just the shitty quality flour. Um, and a lot of times it's the fruitans that are like the sugars in the flowers and obviously sugar is hard to digest anytime. So I feel very passionate about gluten being an okay thing. And also, 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 uh, all of these breads go through a fermentation period of either 12 to 16 hours. So that starts breaking down all these things, making it easier for your stomach to digest. Any grain has to be broken down. It's like why you mill flour. Like you can't just like eat wheat. Like you have to break the grain down to some extent to be able to eat it. it. Oh, wheat. I've never smoked wheat. You know, could try. Why not? So I was like, yeah, I've never eaten wheat. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, so it's just a myth. I feel bitter about there's gluten. A, no, I'm there's glad a lot that of gluten. Well, that everybody's just always trying to hate stuff. It's like the fat free, and then there's no salt, and then there's no sugar, and then there's like the Atkins, no carbs, right. and then like gluten's the devil. It's like, well, let's just like look at all these gluten's shit been, food companies that are feeding people chemicals. Gluten's been I mean, the we devil. We joked in earlier about the meats of other countries <laughs> compared to the, the American countries. I feel that we have a, a higher cancer rate, a higher all of these things because we use processed foods in all aspects of our lives. And so mm-hmm. like, I'm the first person to admit it. Like if someone's like, oh, by the way, there's a direct link between Popeye's chicken and cancer. I'm not going to be surprised when I get cancer. Like I'll be <laughs> like, you know what? It's probably the fact that I ate Popeye's twice a week. Like. It's the steroid infused <laughs> chicken. It's the batters that like, yep. you know, like the tomato Domino's can't call cheese cheese in England mm-hmm. because they use so much fake product in theirs or like chemicals and things that England standards don't register it as cheese. And so yeah. like it's those types of situations that I get. For you sure. know? So if gluten is one of these myths, I'm team pro gluten. As like people I love have bread. celiacs, like wheat allergies, just like a peanut allergy or like whatever, right. like that exists. That's real. And like you're saying, like you can eat Popeyes. At least you have like the education or like have the know that it's not good. Like I'm not above eating bad foods. I eat them too. Fuck yeah. so but it's just like knowing that, and like I don't think enough people are privy to that information. Would you would you say somebody who wasn't like celiac? Cause let's get real. There's a lot of people out there who don't have yeah. celiac, and Trader they say Joe's they have like gluten, gluten intolerance. People. Would you say like your would you sur- would you say your bread would be? Yeah, I fine have for I them? have straight up like cases. I'm gonna make these people make videos and produce them because I have five different people right now that I've said one of them's like I haven't had any gluten or eaten any bread in five years, and she gets bread every week. No What's problem. her go-to? She gets the turmeric roasted garlic, but now she's super into the chocolate sourdough too. Whoa. Chocolate sourdough is new. So what flavors are we working with? So we have San Francisco sourdough, turmeric roasted garlic, the hippie loaf, which is like pepitas, flax seeds, hemp hearts, black sesame. That was actually really fucking good. That's, That's the one I you had. had. And normally I hate those, uh, but it's not I like dry. Like it was good because a lot of them like dry out and they're too grainy. I nobody good. gets the hippie loaf. Well, I mean people do, but it's the least purchased one. And I feel like I've always hated multi-grain loaves. They were just like gross and healthy growing up, and like things my mom would make us eat. And so I wanted to make multi-grain that was actually good and hearty. That loaf, don't quote me on it, but supposedly a slice of that has more protein than an egg. So a really nice breakfast. You heard it here. Yeah. Who the fuck did that? <laughs> Get your avocado like, toast with this protein. M- person. Yeah. Avocado yeah. toast. Um, and chocolate sourdough is new. And then I've done some like beet, walnut, dill, um, and like a berry beet. Oh, I did like a spinach, spirulina, sunflower thing. So there's some others that I've been like throwing out there, but they're not all the time. So is the chocolate sourdough like sweet or is it just? Not super sweet. It's, like, more savory, like, good I feel like it's French good with, toast. like, a cream cheese. Yeah, great for, like, a French toast. I'm not super into sweets, so it's, it's like, gets sweet from the chocolate chips, but, like, the rest of it's just cacao and cocoa, so those aren't, like, super sweet right. chocolate. That's awesome. And there's no sugar at it. It's just honey, so it's not, like, a... And if somebody wanted to order from you, mm-hmm. how would they go about it? www.thefunkyflame.com. Don't forget the... There's a Funky Flame wrapper that's taken all the OG Funky Flame stuff. So I have to add that to everything. And for those that want to follow you on Instagram? The underscore Funky Flame. I know the underscore game. Yeah. 
It's the fucking worst. It's annoying. And the, but. and the asshole that has Stone Depetite straight up, I've offered to buy it. That There's asshole. another one. 